If you want to build an online store using Shopify but don't know where to start, then this video is for you specifically. I'll show you how to open and build your first online store using Shopify. I've been using this platform for eight years at this point, so this isn't going to be some quick hack or trendy setup. Instead, this will be a no BS walkthrough showing you exactly how to go from scratch to a store that you are ready to sell on. So by the end of this video, you'll have a clean, professional, and trustworthy store that you can start selling on immediately. So just follow along throughout this video and all of the resources I will mention will be linked in the description below. So let's get started. So the very first step is to sign up for Shopify and we have the best deal linked in the description. And once you click that, you'll be brought to this page right here where all you need to do is enter your email and you will get a free three day trial without having to put any credit card information in. And then after that, it's $1 a month for the first three months. So after you put your email in right here, you'll just click start free trial. And then you'll be brought to this page right here. This is your homepage for the owner side. I know it might look like a lot right now, but I promise it's not as complicated as you might think. And the very first thing that I want you to do is go over here on the left side and go to online store. And what this is going to bring up in the first section is themes. So think of your theme as the actual visual style that people see whenever they are on your online store. So right now the default theme is Dawn, but if we scroll down right here, we can see that these are additional free themes that they have. And we can even go here to explore more themes on the theme store. So you can see that some of them here are paid, some of them are free. And all you want to do at this stage is to pick one that just fits the vibe of the niche that you are in. So let's say if I clicked on Saver right here, one thing that you can do that's very cool in the theme store is just go here to view demo store. And now I can actually see what this theme looks like if I was to use it. And I can go here to see the mobile view. And if I wanted to use this on my store, then I would just click try theme. For this video though, I'm just going to continue to use Dawn, the default theme, so you can see how this works from a very beginner's perspective. So the next thing that we're going to do is go over here to customize, and now it's going to open our theme editor. And they've really improved this over the years and made it very intuitive, especially for people that are just starting out by having all of the editor sections here on the left. So this right here is the main image banner. And when we click on it, we can see all of the settings pop up on the right. And we can even adjust this just by moving it around with our mouse. And what I'm going to do first though, is go over here to settings. This is our theme settings and where we can adjust some of the main things like the logo. So I'm going to open the logo here and I'm going to select and upload my logo. Upload image, all right. Now that it's uploading and it's processed, I will click done. And now you can see that our logo is added here and you can mess with the sizing as well. Let's say I'll bring this up to 120 or even 150. And now it's just, you know, that much more visible and looks good. Now, the next thing we can adjust is this banner right here. So this is the main image banner that's by default here on the theme. So to add our own image, all we have to do is click on this, go here to image one and select. So what I'm going to do is click add files here and I'm going to add our banner. So now I'll click done once it's uploaded and this will add right here. And as you can see, we have text on our banner already. So to remove this overlay, all we need to do is go over here to the left side to the heading and we can hide it and we can do the same thing for the button. And then when we go back here to the image banner, you can see that it looks a little bit dark. So that's the overlay opacity that is there by default. But if I just drag this down to zero, now the full image is visible by default and it's looking much more put together. And as we scroll down on this page, you'll see there's a featured product section right here. And then it pretty much just ends. But anytime you want to add a new section, we can just go here on the left side, click add section, and we can choose something like this image with text. And then we can go over here, add an image. So I'll go here, add file, choose an image. Once it's uploaded, I will add it here. And then here I can edit the headline. So I can type here, our bags, and maybe I want to extend on this. I don't really know what to say. So I can say that this is the title for our luxury bags, generate a heading elevate your style with luxury bags. And we can do the same exact thing for the text element here. Just type in, we have the best bags in the world, but that's not great, right? So we can click generate text, and this is describing 
the origin of our luxury bags from Italy. Generate, and now it's going to write some text elements that we could use, select, then we have the button here, explore. Another option to explore is over here in the theme settings on the left. There are a lot of different drop downs. Remember, we just set up the logo just a couple of minutes ago, but the main things that will make a huge difference are going to be things like the color schemes and then the actual typography itself. So if I click on assistant right here and let's say I change it to this font right here and I make it bold italic. You'll see how it immediately changed the headings on my store. So I'm going to select that for this example. And one thing you wanna make sure you do after everything you change is to save it here in the top right. And what we've been doing so far is editing the theme here on the desktop, but there's also a mobile variation you wanna make sure looks good. So, so far, so good. Everything's looking clean. But if you don't have a banner already, one cool thing that you can do is explore free images that Shopify has to offer. Fortunately, there are a lot of different options. So I could search something up like mountain, and there will be a ton of different images that I could potentially use that match the style of my store. Now, the next thing we need to do is go here out of the theme editor, and I'm going to show you how to actually add a product. So we'll go up here to products in the left and we'll click here, add product. And when creating a product page, the main things we're going to do is first upload the media. So in this case, I have these three product images I'll be using as an example. And then I'll go here and call this the Ghana designer bag. We'll have this generate the product description made with Italian leather, hand stitched, limited quantity, and high fashion. And there's also additional tones we could use when generating the text. So in this case, I'll use sophisticated and click generate. Now we have this description that we could use. Then I'll scroll down here and there's things like pricing. If you want to charge tax, you can fill in this to calculate the margins of your product. You can track the quantity and even the weight. If we say this weighs one pound. And if you have variants such as additional colors or styles, you could add those right here. And then all you need to do is click the save button. And now the first product is created and we can go back here to products again, and we can now add another product, but this one's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to upload the media right here, and this will be a high fashion lookbook. So this right here will be high fashion digital lookbook, including some of the best outfits for women in the entire world. And we'll do the tone as persuasive. Generate, we'll click keep, and it's automatically recognized that this is a digital product. And this is the type of product that I'm usually selling. And since it's digital, I'm not going to track the quantity. And also you want to make sure that if you're selling a digital product, you deselect this option right here. So that way customers won't have to enter shipping details at checkout. Now I'm going to save this product. So now that we've created our second product, I want to show you how to create a collection. So all we need to do is click this tab right here and we'll go up to the top right and click create collection. And what we'll call this is the summer picks. And here it's on manual selection. So all we need to do is go to products and click browse and I'm going to select our designer bag and our high fashion lookbook, and then I'm going to save it. Now that this collection is made, I want to show you how to set this up on your online store. So we go back here to online store, two themes, and we click customize. And if we scroll down, remember there was a featured product section right here, but what we can do is make this specifically for the featured collection. So right now you can see that it's automatically toggled on all collections, but if I go here, I can replace this and change this to our summer picks collection and then change the product count to two. And then we can drag the columns here to two as well to make it just cleaner on the eyes for a potential customer. And then what we can do is optimize this for mobile by clicking the mobile view. We'll scroll up. And then here, once we are clicked on this featured section, we'll scroll down and here you'll see the mobile layout. We'll change the columns to one. So now it'll show the products just like this. And then I'll go back to the desktop view and it's looking good. So we'll click save here in the top right. 
Now, if you're not selling your own products and you want to sell digital products, I'll link to a video right here that shows you how to get started with that. This is what I recommend every aspiring entrepreneur do if they want to be a part of the digital transformation and make money by helping people. You can literally make any product within a day and sell it over and over without having to pay some type of crazy fulfillment fee. This is what all of these guys on the screen have done and ended up flying out to me so that we could mastermind and scale our digital products even further. And I'm working on something kind of behind the scenes right now that may be able to help you get started even faster. So if if you're interested, just message me the word YouTube on my Instagram and I'll send you all the details. Now, the next thing I want to show you how to use is your pages. So here under online store, look for pages on the left side and click on it there. And then what we're gonna do in the top right is click add page. And the first one we'll do is an about us page. This is basically where you would tell the story and the origin of your brand and the products you're selling, or just a little bit about what your brand does. So if you're selling digital products that help people pass their NCLEX so that they can become a nurse, then you would want to explain that this is the purpose of your brand and the products that you sell. You can also use the generator to help you come up with the text itself. This is placeholder content. I'll click keep, and then I'll click here on visible and save the page. And then I'll go back here to the pages list and go here to contact. And one cool thing here is that by default, this free theme already has a contact page set. So if I click here on view, I can see that there's already a contact form set up, but what we don't see is about us here in the navigation. So that's the next thing I'll show you. If I go back here and I go over here to the left side to content, and then I'll look for menus right here, click main menu, and what I will do is click add menu item. I'll call it about us and I will link it to the page that we just created right here. And then I'm going to drag this up. I'm going to move this one back and I'm going to save it. So now if I go back to this store and I refresh it, I'll see the about us right here. It's pretty simple, right? And now I'll go back to the store and I'll go over here to settings because one thing you want to make sure that you absolutely set up is your policies. So I'm going to click on policies right here and then I'll go one by one and make sure that I set these up. The first one is the return and refund policy. And fortunately, there's a template here by Shopify that we can use and modify. So I'm going to click publish. I'm going to do the same for the terms of service and the shipping policy and the contact information. And then what I'll do is exit out of this page. I'll go back here to the menus and then I'll go to footer menu. And what I will be able to do is add my policies. So what I'll do here is go to link, click policies, call this the privacy policy, add menu item. This next one that we'll do will be the refund policy, add menu item, and we'll do this one as the terms, okay? And one last item, we will do the contact information, okay? And now I'll save this. And if I go back to the store open right here, you'll see that right now at the bottom, there's nothing there. But if I refresh this, now we can see there at the very bottom, there are the policies. And the very next thing that you want to do is go here to settings again in the bottom left and go here to payments so that you can set up Shopify payments. This is how you're actually going to be able to get paid out whenever you make sales. And fortunately, Shopify has made it pretty simple where all you have to do is click complete account setup. It'll run you through all the details that you need to complete and by the end of it, you should have your payments set up. And I also recommend just browsing through the settings here and getting familiar with things like the shipping and delivery, which we don't use for selling digital products, but also for taxes and duties. If you're selling physical products, you probably will have to collect sales tax. And then the very next thing that you want to do is establish your store with a domain. So if I go right here to domains, you'll see that there are two options. You can buy a new domain or connect an existing domain from another domain provider. Now you could just click here on buy a new domain and type in what you're looking for, like tannersamazingbags.com and see if it's available, which this one is amazingly. And then I could buy this and add this onto my store. But in my experience, I like to purchase the domains on GoDaddy and then connect them very, very easily with just a couple of clicks right here, where after I buy the domain on GoDaddy, I'll type in the URL and then it will prompt me through the next steps to connect it. And then it will automatically sync with my GoDaddy account and my domain will show right here on my online store. And now after doing all of this, what you need to do to launch your store is to choose your plan. So you wanna go here on your homepage and click select a plan. 
And you might be wondering which one is going to be the best for me. And what I recommend if you're just starting out here is to just choose the basic one. Using the link in the description that you used, you'll be able to pay just $1 a month for the first three months. You'll see your payment processing fees right here, which are very standard, as well as these additional benefits if you're selling things like physical products. So click select basic, complete the information here, you'll pay just $1, and then you'll be able to go here to your online store and officially remove the password, which means that your store is ready to go. So that's it. You just built a fully functional store on Shopify in just a few minutes. And now you're officially ready to start selling. If you already sell digital products or you're looking to sell digital products, I also want to help you take it to the next level. Just message me the word YouTube on my Instagram and I'll send you the details of something that I've been working on kind of behind the scenes to help people get amazing results without even having to show their face or without having to be an expert on any specific specific topic. This is how you can make money online by actually helping people solve problems. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and got some value out of it. If you did, make sure to leave a big like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.